Hey everybody, it's time for another food adventure again. I know I haven't done these in a while, but I'm here with my sister. We just uh, just got out of our friendly neighborhood Walmart and we found some very interesting stuff. The first thing we're actually gonna try is Harvest Snap lentil beans. Roasted roasted uh, snap, snap peas, I guess. And onion and thyme, so let's see what we got here. Looks like a french fry. It's actually pretty good. So, so they're they're flavored lentil bean crisps baked. So I guess it's like the lentil beans baked and whatever. It's not bad. That's interesting. What do you think? Mm, yum. <laughs> Person of few words. Mm. The next thing that we're gonna try. We found these. Company called Stonefire Non Crisps. If any of you are Indian food fans, I know I am. I love a good whatever. Pretty much anything. But this one is a resealable bag too. A resealable bag. Ooh. Oh. Oh. These are tandoori spice. So they're probably gonna have a little bit of a kick to them. Jumping the gun on me there. Oh my god. I'm definitely buying those again. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Tastes delicious with hummus. <laughs> you and your hummus. Oh my god. I could definitely have these on the side. Or like my buttered chicken or something. Paired with goat cheese. Oh, they give you a non-traditional appetizer suggestion on the back. With goat cheese and sliced fig. I like goat cheese. I've never had actual sliced fig. So that actually might be pretty good. We do have another one from them, which is just original flavor. Now, the Tandoori Spice didn't have any heat, but it had a lot of good flavor. So this is probably just going to taste like naan. Oh, like a lightly slight salted naan. Cucumber and feta. Oh. That's no suggestion of that one. Cucumber and feta. It won't be a not bad idea. Oh. So... Stonefire also has a lot of other products that they do, like a uh, Italian pizza crust and oh, Mediterranean pocket pizza. Ooh. She started doing the Mediterranean food thing, which isn't bad. I actually kind of like the stuff too. And now for a little bit of dessert. <laughs> this is um, what oh, you ripped the company's name off. Oh, maybe not Orchard Fresh, the pecan bourbon and praline. So. Let's uh, get these going. You definitely taste the bourbon. Mm. They do not cook it. No, mm, <laughs> no, they don't. Oh my god. Delicious. <laughs> the bourbon is definitely there. Oh my god. It's not that much. It's the very yeah. last flavor. Uh, natural bourbon. Contains tree nuts and dairy. For those of you who have allergies. But. Very little. Very little on the bourbon. Like on the list. Very much so on the flavor. Wow. Mm. Almost like a rum ball. Soft like a rum ball. Right. Sounds like it's just of a rum ball, but. Yeah, I think it has the pecans in it. Mm. Well, I know I haven't done these in a while, but these are just random whenever I find anything new that looks interesting. But those are pretty good. Pretty much everything here, there's nothing bad. I did find... Hold on. For my... For my redneck counterparts out there, we did find some new baked beans that Walmart is carrying. Got moonshine and bacon, whiskey and brown sugar, and a whiskey dry rub baked bean. And I'll try those later, and I don't know, maybe I'll throw them on camera, I don't know. Alright guys, well, thanks again. This has been another food adventure. If there's anything that you know about that you want me to try, or anything you know out there that you want me to try to find to try, 
Let me know. Put it in the comments below. All right. Love you guys. Peace out.